Hello, welcome back everyone, Jay Barino here, continuing Dwarf Campaign, a custom campaign for Warcraft 3. This mission has been really fun, but also incredibly long. I've just done some basic work here where I sent, uh... I spent I sent uh, Erigdon back to to sell one of his items, and then I sent uh, I am not Thana back up here to grab that ring of protection plus five because that's still a pretty good darn item. Uh, Talisman of evasion also pretty good. I'm thinking if anything, these three items are ditchable, whereas these are like artifact level. Not really mask of death, but it's definitely worth keeping on him. Whereas Erigdon has like no what? items that are worth keeping that much at this point. These are all disposable. Orb of darkness is fine, but not. not not super necessary. The Legion Doomhorn is okay, but not necessary. Same with Necklace. Mantle is definitely replaceable. So we definitely have a lot of space to stack some different items. The the landmines are back here. We got items strewn all about. So we got a lot of uh, options. Also, I've got uh, a new army ready to go here. It's comprised of some spellcasters plus some really strong frontline support. So I'm going to come up here and try to solve this stupid riddle. Um, my suspicion... I, I have a couple ideas. I, I'm recording this right after the last one, so if, if you left it in the chat, or if you left a comment, um, I, I haven't seen it yet. I, I probably should have waited in retrospect. So I'm thinking Titan. That could actually be it. Well, nothing happened. It should have been it. This riddle is stupid. Well, I guess Titans are not that much like us after all. So just a reminder, we're trying to solve this. What is like a dwarf, but the size of a giant? I tried mountain and titan. Uh, we just, you know, just try some stuff here. Stone! Well, nothing happened. Based on my extensive knowledge of ancient riddles, this must be some kind of silly word game. Okay, so yeah, it's a riddle. It's not meant to be like an actual... Um, an actual question that we have to... <laughs> Skeletons! do some sort of research on. Maybe we're thinking too hard. Maybe it's something very simple or even stupid. Okay, this is what I suspected. Again, what is like a dwarf but giant? Uh, giant dwarf. <laughs> yep, there it is. Oh my goodness. But of course. Ha, huh, that's funny. Ha ha ha! Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay, well, let's go through the portal. When you have to tell someone that something is funny, maybe you you did it wrong. Uh, <laughs> again, kind of silly of me to even consider criticizing a campaign from this long ago. Uh, is this like a teleporter or something? It is. Ah, okay, we went through the wall. Again, we've kind of got a dream team of units here. I can hear dwarven spirits moan at the end of the corridor. They're lamenting their fate and swearing vengeance upon those who slew them. Wait, I sense no evil in these spirits. They must have been drawn from their rest by something terrible that happened to them long ago. Hmm. These spirits might not attack those who they perceive as friends. Let us proceed with care. Indeed, we must find out what keeps the specters in this world and correct the wrongdoings so that they may rest in peace. So we actually unlocked an entire separate part of the map because of a stupid riddle. Spectres may attack non-dwarf units. Okay, so you guys stay back. I assume the assault golems count as dwarven units? They should. Null poacher, stay back. This is just a random null. We'll send you back through, buddy. You don't need to be here. I like how it's, they may attack dwar non-dwarven units. Okay, so let's quick save. I think we've got a good enough group here. The undead watch, okay. They watch them closely, but seem to ignore him. Okay. So technically they are not considered dwarves. I had a, a rifleman. I don't know where he is right now. He must not have made it through. I swear I made a rifleman. Where is he? He's back here. Don't you remember there was a rifle? I, I, I know, I know there was one. This is gonna drive me crazy. Oh, he is here. Okay. So, Rifleman, where are you? Time to go. I'm looking on the map to see where he's... Is he trapped somewhere? Okay. Time to go. Oh, he's right here. Okay. 
So you guys back up. Let's just let's just go in with our actual dwarven units. Our heroes well, are quite powerful now, so I'm I feel pretty safe. Whatever. Oh, so yeah, it's just but ignore him. Okay, so yeah, we can go in with these. If they're if they're also watching our other stuff closely, we should be safe. Fine. Okay, this this is becoming this is becoming a little too much. It's it's spamming the screen a little bit here. I get it. They're watching us closely. Go and get your master. I am waiting for him. Welcome to my study. It's been a long time since I've seen anybody alive down here. Who are you, Lich? What are you doing here? I am, or used to be, Tyron Thunderbird, the Archmage of the High King of the Dwarves and the Supreme Counselor to King Agrinor, the Mighty of the Seven, of the City of the Seven Mithril Golems. I, like the others here, suffered a horrible death at the hands of the Faceless Ones. We were sent back from the realms of the dead to avenge our deaths and correct what had happened here. We became undead revenants, skeletal warriors and specters. I, as a powerful wizard, became an arch lich of great power. Holy Thunder Force! Where did the Faceless Ones come from? It's a long and unpleasant story. As one of my duties, I was the chief of maintenance of the Severn Mithril Golems, which the city was once so famous for. The task of maintaining these golems was passed down for countless generations, although the origin and purpose of the golems were long lost in the mists of history. Until I came along, that is. Due to my extensive knowledge of matters ancient and arcane, I was able to discern that the golems and the mysterious temple they guarded were in fact made by titans, shapers of the world and creators of the dwarves. Alas, I was unable to resist the temptation to learn more about our mysterious creators and their vast arcane powers. I secretly used my knowledge of the golems to devise a deactivation spell, which enabled me to venture further into the unexplored depths of the titan temple. I did indeed discover ancient and powerful secrets, but not the kind I had hoped for. The temple was in fact a prison for one of the evil old gods, primordial enemies of creation that the titans had defeated before the shaping of the world and bound deep beneath the roots of the mountains. Because I unwisely removed the inner seal of the prison, the entity awoke from its slumber, and though it was still bound to the location, it was now able to use some of its powers. It summoned forth a servitory of great power, a star spawn from beyond the voids to ruin, to the ruin of us all. Okay, so this is all old gods rela related. I and King Agrinor the Mighty were slain in battle against the Starspawn and its minions, the Faceless Ones, misbegotten creatures that served the old gods. Many of our warriors were either taken as mind-controlled slaves or sacrificed in dark rituals to the old gods. Even when we rose as undead, we were unable to defeat the Starspawn and its servants. We retreated to the secret area and sealed it with a riddle that only a dwarf could answer. Here we waited until the time would be right to act. The Faceless Ones are no doubt going to try to release the Old God from its prison and unleash it onto the unsuspecting world. Only with the help of the Mithril Golems can we, can we hope to defeat the Star Spawn. Only then can the Inner Seal be put to its proper place. Okay, new optional quest maybe? I wonder whether it's a good idea to make an alliance with the Lich. After all, Undead saw him, such as him, are at war against our people. Uh, yeah. The Faceless Ones are obviously a clear and present danger. Let us join our forces and defeat them. Excellent. Let's waste no time. I've commanded the others not to attack you or your friends. These two these two specters are my personal bodyguards. They will come with me. The others will join us when the time is right. Okay, and now we've got a new hero. Heavy range unit with evasion and resistant skin. Okay, getting a bunch of stuff here. Bring Tyrant into the vicinity of the seven Mithril Golems to activate them. we got to find where they are. Defeat the Faceless Ones conducting the ritual to free the Old Gods. And, again, now we've got Tyrant. And some new Spectral dwarfs, uh, dwarfs as well. So we can't build them. Is there anything else back here? Very interesting. Uh, what else do we want to bring with us? Uh, probably just our, our null blood, our nulls to bloodlust. Alright, let's get out of this little, this little area. I like the double area, the, the double, uh, fountains back here. There's nothing else to pick up. I thought maybe there would be... I see, there's something back here. Can we get through here? The passageway behind these illusory bookshelves leads to an area where I keep some of my most precious items. The area is protected by two guardian demons. Don't worry, they do not, they do not attack you. Perfect. Oh, it's it's an illusion, so we can walk through here. For glory. Welcome, master. Break, break, break. Tomes of knowledge. Okay, that's cool because we just got a new hero, so we want to make sure we get him leveled up. Um, all right, this is getting a little clunky. Let's back all these guys out. 
And then our heroes. Well, what would you ask of me? Thank you. So this is a. Oh, it's not. I was gonna say it's a clone of uh, Kalthazad, but it's not. <clears throat> it kind of is. He doesn't have frost armor though. He's got uh, Ray's dead. Okay, cool. Break. Break. You don't really need gold for anything at this point. I mean, we're we're swimming in money, but we're just we're we're it's like a fun collection quest. So we're gonna do all of this. Tome of knowledge. Who would benefit from this the most? Uh, okay, grab the gold coins. Dark spawn figurine. I think allows us to summon something. Now we have another intelligence hero, so we just have more items that we can stack. Cadgar's gem of health, ring of protection, plus three. Uh, break this. You have found a copy of the Terranomicon. This is my personal copy of a splendid manuscript that significantly helped me in my extermination of my examination of the prison of the old god. I placed it here to avoid it being found. Okay. Um. Let me face the peril. Let's grab one tome of knowledge here. Let's throw one on Tyrin. Dark spawn figurine. Yeah, okay, so we, you know, more summons. We'll use that as necessary. Ouch. So the first one, brain damage. Okay, that's fine. It's not a big deal. We just do this. It, oh, we can't heal him. We can't heal him because he's undead. That's too bad. Okay, well, let's just use this now. Now he can, now he has de-evolution. That's actually really good, because I think it's a silence. Yeah, it is. It's just an outright silence, so we just have to wait. Meanwhile, let's start what is it? backing out of here. Let's start backing out of here. Perfect. What a strange mission. <laughs> it's very weird. Let's let's just regroup down here and decide where to go. I'm thinking we go down next. We got a nice big army. We got some gnolls to support us. We don't need the gnolls' help that much. The words bind an elder walker to your will. Like, permanently? Oh my god, permanently. That's cool. Okay, he's got devour magic and forked lightning. Is it just random what this does? I think it's random. Oh dear, what have we done? Uh, well, I mean, it's not a big deal, but I think it's, again, it's it's cool that it's random. Maybe it, it depends on who's holding it is what it does, because it seems like we've got pretty much exclusively positive <clears throat> positive things happen when it was uh, Eric Din. I keep forgetting his name. Four intelligence points. That's good for Tyron. Uh, again, I'm using this on him because he's a little behind my other heroes, so we want to make sure that we get him kind of up to snuff. I don't think we have any other passive items that we want to backtrack and get. I don't really care about the stones. In fact, we'll just use the one that's in his inventory. Unfortunately. Okay. Um... So we can go this way or we can go down. I left the map way back here. I'm not going to backtrack for the backtrack for the map. <laughs> Don't need the mana stone either. Okay, so we've got a group of workers here to repair my golems. Uh, I like that I have these, but they're huge and they path block me. So we just want to make sure we keep our workers relatively close. Okay, so what's our what's our dream team here? We just I want like one solid group of units, and I think this is it. In fact, we leave behind our other riflemen and we bring the Null Overseer. Okay, this is Team Dream Team. We're gonna move into this next section. Yes, me lord. We have some other units that are just gonna hang out back here, but they're not they're not part of Team Dream Team currently. Oh wait, no, we gotta bring the tank. What am I thinking? Who can we leave behind? I think we don't need all the assault golems. Let's leave one behind. Require my assistance. And instead bring the tank. Okay, let's go with what we've got here and move on into this direction. There's another one of these jerks. Another another guy who summons stuff. Maybe we'll get another grimoire. Uh, okay, so let's, let's get in here and see what's going to happen. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> An enormous wave of mental energy is emitting from the creature in the center. All right, get in there. We've got Resurrect. Our normal units are going to take a lot of damage, but ultimately we should be okay. Oh, God, who did he... Oh, he mind-controlled my Null Overseer! Oh, my God. That's infuriating. I refuse. No, I refuse. Absolutely not. He's going to stay back. I don't care if, if someone else gets mind-controlled. But Mr. Null Overseer will not... Not today. No. I don't care if it's one of my... Uh, I don't care if it's one of these guys. That's fine. All right, let's go. <laughs> 
I refuse to allow that to happen. Some stuff can just... Mind control, I guess. Same with like, oh, I guess some stuff can just cast Resurrect and some stuff can cast Resurrection. Two different spells. Okay, let's go. Uh, why don't we just blast him with a cannon? Nice. Chain Lightning here. Uh, I don't think any of my units are actively getting extremely hurt. And I don't think anyone's been mind controlled either. So we'll just start throwing down some heals. Obsidian's da sa <laughs> Dagger of Sacrifice. Attack damage by the hero. If an organic unit is slain by the wheel, a sludge minion is born. Okay. And then there's a... Oh, okay. So heroes, let's figure out what we're going to do with you. What would you ask of me? Okay. Tyrin. I guess we'll put this on you. Indeed. And then we'll give you the Tome of Experience. The Tome of Knowledge we'll put on... You call. I guess we'll also put on you. A faithful choice. And there's the Obsidian Dagger. Again, we've got stuff that is disposable at this point. I, am not I think I think Theoden is pretty much set. I don't think there's much that we're going to want to replace well, on him ultimately, but for now he's fine. Okay, Mr. Uh, did they still get him? Don't tell me they still got him. No, he's here. Okay, like if, if we lost, flip in... No overseer man again. I'm gonna be furious. Okay, come on down here, start repairing, and then can we get through the ruined gate? Indeed, we can. By the ancestors, what is that thing? We're gonna have a tentacle monster fight. They're going to throw that knoll down. Aww. Oh, he's turning them into sludge monsters. Heavens, the knoll turned into a primordial ooze. Dear God, no. Okay, well, we're gonna help these gnolls. Might as well get our other units into the fight. I think we're, we're pretty strong right now. I think we can probably just fight our way through this. Break the pens, get them out. Nice. Can we kill this thing ultimately? Well, I'm saved. Thanks. <laughs> hey, thanks. I was gonna say I heard mind control somewhere. Not my null overseer though. He 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 may make it through this whole thing. He very well might. Okay, just keep breaking the pens. We're like way over 100 supply now. Got another one. Keep going. Keep going. They're saved. Fork Lightning is R. Okay. It's a pretty good spell. Keep moving up. Just move up with everything that we've got. Keep moving in. Can we get down? It, we can. Okay. It looks like we can get down to this thing. We're going to kill him. Save the gnolls. Hashtag save the gnolls. Let's move on up. Thanks. Who's, who's left? Oh yeah, we got an assault golem. Get on down here, buddy. You're taking up a boatload of supply. We should come. We should always bring you another null overseer. Again, we're doing our best here to save what we can. I'm saved. Now we have two overseers. I don't know which one is which. So if one of them dies, we'll just pretend it's not the brother. <laughs> okay, bringing up this stuff. Again, it's not clear to me what can resurrect. Uh, not not uh, what can mind control and what can't. Breeding pit. We're, we're more than strong enough now, I think. Uh, nothing's probably going to be able to stop us at this point. We have, like, a huge amount of damage. Our heroes are extremely strong. And these things do a lot of damage. We may start... We might bleed a couple units, but ultimately we should be okay. These are just level one gnolls. All right, let's break this one out. What happened? Am I free? Dear God, the abomination down there is enormous. Unless we take extreme precautions, it may dissolve us all into primordial ooze. I wouldn't send anyone down there unless it was absolutely necessary. The Nameless One is an extremely dangerous monster which regenerates very quickly. Unless you focus fire with your units, you will not be able to kill it at all. Hypnosis Crystal. Uh, another mind-controlling type thing. I guess, let's see, is it permanent? Okay, it's just... It's, it's just a... 
I don't know. It's not very good. Look. Let's uh, let's go see if we can find a faceless one and, and take it. Yeah, sure. Take this huh. one. There we go. What? Move on in. Is this all connected? It is, actually. We gotta figure out how to kill this thing without getting turned into Primordial Ooze. Wouldn't want to be turned into Primordial Ooze. The Knolls want revenge. Some of them, they're, they're willing to they are willing to die, I suppose, uh, in order to kill this thing. I mean, that's not really the way I want to look at it, but <laughs> they are indeed willing to die. Is this a dead end? No, it continues. Okay. So, we're gonna kill this thing. It's gonna drop something good. Maybe. Actually, could we just death and decay it? What if we do this? Oh my god. Yep, it's gonna work. Ultimately, this is all... Yeah. I mean, death and decay lasts forever. So, realistically, this is all we need to do. I mean, what else? Can we hit it with anything else that's ranged? Death and decay lasts forever, keep in mind, so... Oh, okay, that, no, 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 no. Don't get turned into Primordial Ooze. And all the gnolls that we saved will be able to live. Death and Decay is like 40 seconds or something. It's crazy, isn't it? 35 seconds. We we murdered it. Scroll of Restoration, Amulet of Spell Shield, Mask of Death. Does anyone else need a Mask of Death? We'll put it on Tyran. Uh, Frost Nova, fine. Everything else I don't care about. We'll start leveling up Blizzard. We don't really need a scroll of restoration, and we're pretty much full up on I am not on items. I, yeah, I don't. At your call. Uh, it can't hurt. I can't hurt. I don't care about amulet of spell shield either. Rub the magi. Bring a protection plus three. We probably don't need. Might be better, I think, if we put the spell shield amulet on him. It only blocks one spell every forty seconds. It's not like it's great, but it's something. Uh, we still have this area to go through as well, which is like a whole separate thing, and we have a boatload of other units now too. So now, well, now I think we just start bombing our way through this map. We have so many units that we like more than we even know what to do with. So we just start going, and as we find stuff, we kill it. We're gonna we definitely want to backtrack and go that other direction, though. Try to get our heroes up to level ten could be pretty nice. Oh, this is a dead end. Okay, let's get in here. Watch out! That creature is holding a knoll as a hostage. Release him immediately or face your doom, vile creature of darkness. Don't attack us. Narul is our friend. He cannot speak because he hasn't yet learned to emit the sounds of our language, but he can communicate telepathically. Open your mind and you will see. Narul. That name sounds familiar. A sudden sensation of friendliness is emitting from the tentacled creature. Yep, we'll be peaceful. The mind that once inhabited this body is no longer here. It is now I, Narul, the Supreme Warden who has taken the control of his body. A Faceless One Mind Flayer was studying my mind telepathically, but it has underestimated my mental powers. When it let its psychic defenses down, I cast an ancient spell known to the High Priests of Yi Nagu. My mind took over the Mind Flayer's body and put its mind into the body that used to be mine, which I soon disposed of. After that, I evaded my fellow gnolls as much as I could. I managed to set a small group of gnolls free, but I haven't been able to do much more without risking exposing myself. Now that you are here, let us join our forces and put an end to this madness once and for all. I will not tolerate any friendship with this tentacled monstrosity. They are responsible for destroying the city of the seven mithril golems and must be slain. I'll have to leave you if you take this creature with you. Who do you choose? Oh, dear. So it's basically... Oh, jeez, I don't know. I don't like that I have to pick. Do we have to kill it? Ah, I didn't save right before this. I think I'm going to go with Na Rule. So be it. I'll go back to my study room. Okay, at least we don't have to kill him. And he leaves his items. That's good. It's great to have you with us, Na Rule. I've also managed to find out something about the diabolic plans of the Faceless Ones. They intend to set free some kind of terrible god of theirs, which has been imprisoned here for countless millennia. Oh, we know. Now the sacrifice of many of my kind has brought them to the brink of success. If we're to stop them, we must act quickly. Dear father, dear father of dwarves, we would have no chance against both the Lich King and this new god. That would mean the end of Cosmodon. <laughs> Okay, now we have Narul. He's level four. Vial of Strange Liquid. Weird. And then a Darkspawn figurine. 
Yeah, he needs some items. We'll, we'll throw the other items on him. I like him immediately better because he has an AoE spell and just a stun. Creates an image of a friendly unit that has the hit points of the original but deals no damage. Okay. I am not afraid. So let's get out of here. Uh, back all these guys up. This area is done. There's no other way to go, if I understand correctly. So now we just have to go through the right side. This is a really long map. This may even be a four-parter at this point, because there's still a chunk of the map that's still available. So you all go. Now rule. I guess we'll... You know what? He's not undead, so we can heal him as well. I, I mean, I'm not going to take uh, this guy for granted. That was back here. Oh, another earthquake. That must be the faceless one attempting to destroy the wards holding their god. They're shaking the very essence of this earth. We must stop them before all is lost. I don't want to take Tyrant for granted. He, like, single-handedly killed that giant thing. Vial containing an, unlo an unknown st substance. I don't know, man. Um... Let's see. Obsidian Dagger of Sacrifice, Mask of Death. Rub of the Magi would be good. Let's just ditch this. And ditch this. And then grab the two passive items. Rub of the Magi. Okay, there we go. I, I will say that that noise is going to get real annoying as he hisses every time we select him, but for the most part, I think he's fine. Where's my, where's my tank? Get healed, tank. <laughs> Okay, and then we saved, like, a boatload of gnolls. I think we just want to send these back to their little base. Go home, friends! You've been saved! You're workers. You don't, you don't need to join us on this mad quest. Okay. So, we got to keep our spectral dwarfs, which is exciting. My question is, will the other spectral dwarfs join us? Like, they, like he said they would, or, you know, now that we're with this guy. Um, I didn't want to have to kill this guy, which is why I, uh, I kept him in my party. So let's see. Bring Tyron into the vicinity of the seven... So we want to... We got to go back and get him so we can reactivate the golems. And we haven't even undis... We haven't even discovered the, the last main quest. Yeah, this is really long. I, I may... This may be a four, maybe even five parter, but that would be... I don't know. That's kind of crazy to think about. I don't know if it would be that much. I don't know what's up with this vial of strange liquid either. I think I'm going to leave it... Mm. Let's just leave it here. We know where it is. We can come back yeah. for it. Our heroes will be strong enough that they can... Oh, there's another one. Shit. <laughs> Tyron, we need you. Dear heavens, do you see that empty look in those gnolls' eyes? Those tentacled abominations must have drugged the poor creatures to walk straight to their deaths. We must act quickly if we were to save them. Oh, Jesus. Quick save. Go. Go, 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 go. Save them. Get in there. Save your allies. Save the gnolls! Okay, well, we're trying. Gnoll Overseer in the front. Probably gonna die here. Uh, we have Resurrection as well, which we can't use yet, but... Honestly, we're doing so much damage, I think we're safe. And then we just throw down a heal on the units in the front that are getting hit the hardest. As long as we kill these, uh, these big ones. Probably gonna get a boatload of XP here as well. This is a mess. There's so many tentacles. I can't even get through here. I just keep healing this uh, this Null Overseer. He's taking the most damage. Fork, fork lightning? Never mind. Oh my god, I think I think he came up and he charmed him anyway. Oh my goodness. Can we get a point? We're losing stuff, but ultimately, you know, we're going to make it through. A scroll of restoration. I actually have one of those. We might as well use it. There we go. It worked. And there's Amsrath, who's going to go down like a piece of shit. Get him. There we go. No, we still have an, a Null Overseer alive. Then we have to kill the actual tentacled monster. We lost a lot of stuff there, but again, we, we tried to save as many Nulls as we could. Like, virtually impossible to save too many of them, but... Oh, that's just a null brute. Our overseer is still alive. Okay. Nameless one. So we already killed one of these. I, yeah, this wouldn't have worked. We couldn't have used Death and Decay the same way as last time, I don't think. Crown of Kings. Claws of Attack plus 15. We don't need a Hypnosis Crystal. I am not afraid. 
Scroll of Restoration. Now we no longer need. What is it now? All right, calm down, calm down. Can we break these and get gnolls out? No? Did we save any of them? I mean, it's not that important to me. I'm just saying. Uh, okay, so why don't you grab the Crown of Kings? And why don't you grab the Claws of Attack plus 15? I don't really care about those two. Uh, which way do we want to go? There's so much happening on this map. It's crazy. Uh -huh. What got left behind? Workers. Yes, we just keep moving them up because we're going to repair. Yes, so we lost stuff. It's not the end of the world. We are, I mean, our golems are still alive. They're very good. We need to get him leveled up. Granul, or Narul, if we want to be using him more. I guess let's go back here. And see what we could find. We have to find where the golems are. If we can find the golems, we can go and grab Tyrant and then backtrack. What? Open the door to the treasury. Okay, well, we're gonna have to find. There's probably a, a lever somewhere. Who is there? I see the invaders are coming again. Ugh. The temple must be protected. The city must not fall. Dear God, King Agrinor the Mighty has risen as a specter and obviously become quite insane. Painful memories of the past must have been must have been too much for him to bear. I wonder if there is a way to cure him. We wardens sometimes use purge to drive evil spirits out. The same procedure might work on King Agrinar. However, we must use the spell when he is not in his avatar form. No, 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 no. Back up, back up, back, back up. Okay. Purge him. By Ironforge, what happened? Who are you and what are you doing here? Your Highness, I'm Eric Din Earthstorm, the Archmage of the High King of the Dwarves. We seek your help in a matter of utmost urgency. The Faceless Ones who once destroyed the city are attempting to release an old god of terrible power from its prison. We'd be thankful of any assistance you might provide. Hmm. I have some resources in the treasure chamber. I might be able to share some of them with trustworthy friends like you. Let me open the door there. Okay. Is he going to join us now, maybe, as well? We have, like, a Spectre Mountain King hero? Here you go. Take what you need. No, but he is holding a bunch of items. He would have been a pain in the butt to have to what kill. I'd much rather complete the... I mean, he may have dropped some items, but we're swimming in items. Like, we don't need any other items. Let's break these and see if there's anything decent. Gold coins. Okay. Okay, that's really? fine. I really, this is a really expansive treasure map. It's really fun. I like this a lot. Okay, so yeah, we can't do anything with Agrinar, but we can go into the treasure room. Holy shit. Let's just go, let's just leave this other stuff and move in with our heroes. Ringer Protection plus five. We already have one of. This is where I'm thinking we're going to probably just ditch. Ditch a bunch of the shitty items that we have and replace them with good stuff. Uh, it's tempting to maybe ditch this guy and go pick up Tyron. I wonder if we if we go back there, he'll allow us to to use him again. I would hope so. So this was a dead end. I'm happy I came down here as well. I just constantly I'm like getting lucky in that I'm going in the right direction each time. I don't need this, but I'm picking him up because like why not? It's fun. How fun is it to just find all this stuff? And we'll check the treasure here momentarily. Just bear with me. Got all this lumber to pick up too. Rod of cancellation. Hmm, okay. It so now? it's a Dispel Rod. It's probably permanent as well, which is nice. Ring of Protection plus five. Scroll of Animate Dead is a scroll. Crown of Kings, Mask of Death. Okay, so we've got Masks of Death on two of our heroes, so it's time to, to reconsider this. Legion Doomhorn, you're gone. Mantle Intelligence, you're gone. Claws of Attack, you're gone. Where's, uh... Where's Theoden? Is he stuck? At your call. He is stuck. Okay, get out of here. I am not afraid. We have backpack on some units, but I don't really care. Um, okay. Kagar's gen of health will keep. Medallion of courage might be gone. Claws of attack plus fifteen. Obsidian sacrifice. Dagger sacrifice. Decent. Uh, we. That, so that's his orb effect. Mask of death will keep. Okay. So, pick this up. Claws of attack plus twelve. Lion horn of stormwind doesn't call. matter because I think it just stacks wish. with devotion aura. But let's just double check. Well, We've got room on Erigdin. Whatever. Eric, yeah, Erigdin, that's his name. Yeah, ditch that, we don't need that. Pick up. Fine. 
tyrant piece of shit won't uh, won't join us. I think we don't even need the necklace of spell immunity either. Astounding, this is the Rod of Cancellation, a potent weapon of nullification, which can be employed to destroy almost any known spell. 50 charges. Why even have charges? Just make it a cooldown. Mask of Death, we'll put that on you. I think Orb of Darkness, not necessary, but the skeletons aren't that bad. And then the Crown of Kings. I am not. Um, I think we ditch the Belt of Giant Strength. It's almost a direct improvement over that. Actually, no. We're gonna get rid of the Bringer Protection plus five. For honor, it Crown of Kings. As you wish. Is there anything else that would be absolutely worth taking? Ring of, another Ring of Protection. A lot of this stuff is good, but ultimately, I think we're pretty stacked. That's plus eight, basically. Plus six, Robe of the Magi. I don't know. I'm yeah. agonizing over this. I don't think it's ultimately that big of a deal. Fine. Let's, uh, let's backtrack. With Grathul. Okay. So now we have to go up. We've we've found everything here. We have to just continue our roll here. And we're, I'm almost getting to the point where I might cut the video again, uh, which would make this a four-parter. But I knew going in that these maps were really long, so... Again, that's... What is it? That's where we are now. Okay, so this is like my... The meat of my group. I need some XP for Grothul, though. I almost rather would have kept Tyron. We're going to have to backtrack and grab Tyron anyway, because we need to activate the golems. Right? So, we still are missing... No, it's just the seven mithril golems, and then stop the ritual. So, we have to find the golems first, and then we can turn them on with Tyron. So, we're going to have to do some backtracking regardless. Let's move on. What? By the Holy Fathers... This was once a beautiful dwarven temple. It's unbelievable that it's become such a chamber of horrors. Oh, there's two. Ugh. Good lord. Alright, this is getting tricky. Our heroes are really strong, though. Oh, lord. Oh, no. Those things, again. King Burry was hardly able to defeat a single one of those. The Faceless Ones have really strong defenses here. We may not be able to clear this area in a single attack. Indeed. Okay, so we gotta do... This can be a hard area, and your army may get destroyed. Reserve enough resources to rebuild. I think we have enough resources. Alright. Noel Overseer, you will stay alive, friend. You will stay back here. You're the brother of the guy. The guy that does the thing. Um, the other Knolls, you know, we sent back the non-warrior Knolls back to their homes. They're back here. Alright, they're taking up my supply. We're role-playing it a little bit here. Uh, Death and Decay again would be great. I think we just run in, we draw them to us, and then back up. What is it now? So let's, uh, let's do this. And then we'll draw them into this little hallway, and then, you know, they're gonna be blocked, but we'll be blocked as well. Alright, let's kill these slugs. Sludge monsters, what have you. Sonic Blast! Do it! That is not as good as I expected it would be. Okay, let's just keep an eye on what we want to heal. Which is virtually nothing. I can't even really see who's taking a lot of damage here and who's not. Yes, heal the Knoll. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, we are actually pretty strong here. If we play this safe, I don't think we'll have to return. What we do is we back out, we heal up our golems. These golems are so good, I do not regret getting these when I could, when I had supply. Because we're rescuing units at a decent rate. So we don't really have to worry about that. And even if we killed those null workers, that's not enough supply to really make a difference. This is still mining away, which is great. We could, If we would have brought the landmines up, this would have been a good spot for it. Um, obviously pushing into this is going to be tough. We just want to inch forward, as I had mentioned. At your call. Is he doomed? Let me face I think he was terror. doomed. For my people. Okay, there we go. Grothul got a point. Still can't get Charm. Charm would be great. Not quite there yet. Uh, yeah, give me that huge stun. And let's quick save and, and inch into this room. Or, we say, we cut the video again and come back. Um... Is this the end? It doesn't look like it. Also, where are the flippin' mithril golems? I assume they're in this upcoming room, so we might want to engage in this room so we can get some more levels on Narul, 
and then we go, we pick up Tyrin, and we activate the Golem. So again, that might just be like a future, a future thing that we're gonna do. We have so much money, it's absurd. Uh, we have more than enough lumber. Um, e e let's let's start poking in. Let's see what we can do. Let's start poking Where? in here and see what we can do. Let's just play it cool. Stick to one of the sides. And just inch in. The bloodlust is great. Okay. So then next, we're going to stick to the left side. We're going to do what we were doing before, which is lure them to us. Okay, so get out of the way, guys. Mr. Null Overseer, stay on hold position. We just want your aura at this point. Okay, and then you guys move on up. Oh, my word. The prototype. Get up there. What is it? You guys just hang out, and here's what we're going to do again. Well? Let's just use the water elemental and draw them to us, and we're just going to smoke the shit out of this stuff. Okay, perfect. Okay, yes, perfect. Oh, uh, yeah, here's the big one. Ow. I am not afraid. We have resurrect. Uh, we lost... Okay, they took a rifleman. That's okay. Okay, and then why don't we stun the big one? Stun him, please? Okay, and then we can resurrect. No, 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 don't go that way, don't go that way. Don't, do not go that way, good God. Okay, we killed the big one. More stuff on the way. Trying to keep this stuff alive. I think they keep mind controlling some of my stuff. Okay, we can't heal him because he's undead. Uh, we might want to come around. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill this one. I think we want to get rid of all the stuff around them first. Ooh, it's hard to say. What happened? What would happen if we just went up and attacked this? Please move. Let's just move up and attack this. Is this going to draw more of those units to us? It will. Let's Let's get these guys back here. Yeah, come this way. Perfect. Okay. Now we can kill these quite easily. Please don't, please don't mind control me, bro. Um, yeah, the charm is tough. Obviously, this guy is going to be a pain in the dick. We have to start killing these nameless ones because they summon a bunch of tentacles as well. So it's just really deciding how to approach this. Um, did we lose? No, I thought we lost an assault golem. We did not. These golems have paid for themselves so many times over. So good. All right, get repairing, buddies. Do we want to go up the right side and get rid of this before we engage here? Because I'm nervous that if we engage this, it's going to draw this guy. Also, getting rid of Izin. Iasin. I don't know, man. Uh, and there's still a lot of this map left, so it's not like we're, like, right near the end or anything. So I think... What is maybe it? We, we split it again. Because we started well, this, we started this video when we were way back uh, doing that stupid riddle. Get on with it. Mm, I do really want to try to. I would like to kill this left one, and when we come back, we'll clean up the room and then we'll proceed. Because we we still haven't even uh, uh, we haven't even revealed what the final quest is. Okay, so let's do this. Stun this guy, please. Okay, someone was mind controlled. Okay, let's hit with a grenade right here. Oh god. I regret everything. I regret most things. Stop! Oh, he took my null overseer! No! We can always rebuild him. Um, keep Grazul alive. Stun the big one. I, we'll figure out what all this stuff does later. Uh, resurrect? Okay, we'll rebuild another Null Overseer, it's fine. When Grazul goes down, can we resummon him from somewhere? Because I might just replay this again. Okay, we can resummon him way back here. Oh, he can't be resummoned because he costs supply. I'm going to reload. Uh, I, am gonna, I am going to go to the other side and draw the enemies. We've got to, you know, play it relatively safe. Uh, this is why it's like, make sure you uh, try multiple times. Okay, well... We've experimented. We'll come back. We'll destroy this side. 
again, these videos are getting lengthy. I just don't, I don't want to drag, drag this into like three to four hours worth of one video. Got to split it up. Keep it uh, in bite-sized chunks at least. But thank you everyone for watching. This has been Jay Barino. I'll see you next time. Bye now.